Days-long crime spree several people victimized in enough twists to write a best-selling crime novel. A lot of anger at first, but I couldn't do anything about it. A masterpiece puzzle for detectives to put together. A corner piece here at Professional Auto in Green Township. Two women allegedly broke in on May 18th and stole $5,000. Cincinnati police say they met up with Brandy Lane and Julie Hopper and went to Camp Washington to buy drugs together. Detectives say Lane, Hopper and Bobby Sieben robbed the two women and forced them at gunpoint to Lane and Hopper's apartment on Glenway Avenue. There, the victims were beaten over the next two days. Police say Lane and Sieben shot and stabbed a third victim. He was rushed to UC Medical Center and survived. The police investigation started from there, but the group was in the wind. Green Township police say they went back to the mechanic shop, driving off in this man's car. He dropped it off after hours for an oil change. It did not look the way it looked when we left it. He found his stolen car parked on the side of the highway a few weeks later. Just filthy, dirty inside and out, uh, along with uh, the drug paraphernalia inside and all the trash. It was quite disgusting. A year's worth of damage in weeks and a bag of syringes under the front seat. The stolen car is a small portion of the whole story, but since it was uh, our car, it was a big deal to us. And indictments came down today. Nine charges for Hopper, 10 for Sieben, and 14 for Lane. All of them are charged with aggravated robbery, kidnapping, breaking and entering, and theft. And then between all of them, there are also charges for felonious assault, gross sexual imposition, and assault. Reporting live at the courthouse tonight, Jatara McGee, WNWT News 5. All right.